Today, we're taking a look at the Voltron 84, classic legendary blue lion, so stay tuned. Hey guys, welcome back to Come Again TV where all geek culture collides. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on future videos. Today on the show, we're taking a look at the Voltron 84, classic legendary blue lion. So let's go ahead and move these guys out of the way real quick. We're going to take a look at the packaging. As you can see here, you got Voltron 84 logo. You've got the original Voltron Beast King Go Lion. Fire missiles, classic legendary blue line with the blue line there. Legendary series form 16 inch classic Voltron combine all five lines. The blue line is the right leg of Voltron. Now streaming on Netflix. And this was made by Playmates Toys. Let's go ahead and flip it around. Voltron, Defender of the Universe, from days of long ago, from uncharted regions of the universe, comes a legend. The legend of Voltron, Defender of the Universe. A mighty robot. Loved by good, feared by evil. Her Royal Highness Princess Allura from, of Planet Eris became pilot of the Blue Line, the right leg of Voltron. Of course... The first pilot of the Blue Line was actually Sven, who was hurt af uh, in Episode 6 and couldn't go on. He was sent to another planet. He eventually got captured by Zarkon and became a slave. I will go in more into that in my Voltron History Sven slash Shiro video, which by the time this video comes out, will already be up on the channel, so go find it. As you can see, Blue Line comes with a jaw blade. 15 plus points of articulation, missile launcher, and beam emitter. And he also comes with directions and a little mini catalog. Uh, we don't really need the directions, but I'll go, go ahead and show them to you guys real quick. All right, there you go. Get that out of the way. Then we have the catalog here. We've got Lion Attack Voltron, Cannon Fire Voltron, Sword Attack Voltron, Blue Line, Yellow Line, Black Line, Red Line, Green Line, Keith, Shiro, Page, Lance, Hunk, and Mizax. Then we've got the Metal Defender series. 8-inch Voltron, combine all five lines. And... Then there's the Legendary Series and Ultimate Voltron. So now, what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at the Voltron 84 Classic Legendary Blue Line. And then we're going to compare them to the Voltron Legendary Defender Legendary Blue Line. So let's go ahead and move this guy out of the way real quick. And we'll take a look at the Voltron 84 Classic Legendary Blue Line. So as you can see, like with all my Voltron lines, I have him posed in a very different stance than what most collectors have their lines uh, displayed as. Uh, most of them will make their legs straight like that you know, or they'll bring them back like this. I don't like that. That does, It doesn't look very cat-like to me. What I like about this Voltron, about these lions, that the originals, I don't think you could really do, is you can kind of bend their knees to a point where it's more of a cat-like stance very nice so as you can see he comes with his uh, tri-blade here and it does fit into his mouth just like all the other bladed weapons of Voltron there's a little square peg there and that fits right there inside his mouth I really like the detail on this guy 
Very nice. The only thing they could have really done better is added the numbers. So anyway, here's the uh, laser. And these can plug in anywhere on, volt, on the blue line. It doesn't have to be on the front half or on both sides. You can put them on either side. You can put them on one side or the other. It doesn't really matter. Here's the uh, missile launcher, which let's go ahead and fire that. Hmm. There we go. Takes a little bit of effort. Okay. So you've got to actually push on the this red thing. It's not a button. You just there. So anyway, there's that. It is a little funky to get in. Uh, the laser doesn't really do anything. Um, but as for blue line. Okay, so it said, what, 15 plus points of articulation. So let's see here. The head can kind of rock back and forth, up and down. That's not bad. So there's one point of articulation. The mouth, two points of articulation. And there is a little bit of a missile in there. It doesn't come out, but. So there's two points of articulation then three points the tail is four points of articulation then we have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve so, I'm only counting 12 points of articulation. Yeah, it says 15 plus points of articulation on here. I'm only counting 12 unless, of course, they're adding in this, which would be 13 points of articulation. I'm not seeing where they're getting 15 points of articulation. Now. Um, this, the the neck rocking action, I only count that as one point of articulation because it's, as you can see, it's only a bar that goes through there. It's not, it's not a ball joint or anything like that. It's just a bar and there's just a little bit of wiggle room for that bar to be able to kind of go like that. It's not like he can completely turn his head or anything. So like I said, I'm not seeing where they're getting the 15 points of articulation thing from though. Uh, but that's besides the point. The paint on this guy is really nice. Uh, I never had the blue lion growing up. The only one I ever had was the black lion. And we moved so much I lost him as I mentioned in my black lion review. And so getting this guy Getting the complete Voltron for the first time in my life was a dream come true. It really was. So now, let's go ahead and bring in the Legendary Defender of Legendary Blue Lion. Now, I can't remember how many points of articulation it said this lion had. I believe it might have been 15. Not 100% sure. He did come with this water cannon that goes on his back. Go ahead and take that off for now. Set that to the side. And the jaw on the mouth on this guy opens a lot wider than on this one, as you can see. Uh, you could barely get his blade in his mouth. Uh, will the blade fit in this blue line's mouth? Yes, and it fits pretty good not bad not bad at all uh, it's not super tight but you know they've got that part there teeth will go through it kind of steady it in place it's not bad and as you will see this blue line has the red crest on his head well, this one has green, uh, green 
light type thingy. Which would have been really cool if they made it like a green transparent that could light up. That would have been really nice. And as you can see, they are pretty close to the same height. Uh, this blue line is slightly taller. Um, but it also ha depends on how you have them standing as well. I have these two standing pretty much the exact same way. And this line is still a little bit bigger than this one. And they are roughly the same length. Uh, I'd say the legendary blue line has the longer tail, but from butt to snout, this blue line is longer. So, Let's go over articulation for the Legendary Defender Blue Line. Okay, so you've got one, then two, three, four, got five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. I think they said uh, twenty plus points of articulation on this guy. Uh, I'm only getting what eighteen or nineteen points of articulation. So anyway, that's how you transform that one into the leg. Uh, for this one, fold the tail in, the head goes up, the legs it's pretty much the same exact way uh, aside from the tail. And I will say, uh, as with in my other videos, you can actually mitch, mismatch the lions between the classic and the legendary Voltrons. Um, you can, if you wanted to, you could have two blue lions as Voltron's legs, um, have them be, you know, or, and two red lions as his arms, whatever you want to do. Uh, they did make these to where you could uh, mix. You can mix and match, which is very, very nice. I really like that idea. So anyway, guys, there you have the classic, uh, the Voltron 84 classic legendary blue line. And I compared him with the Voltron legendary defender legendary blue line. I hope you guys enjoyed this review. Make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on future videos. I'm Shannon for Come Again TV. Next Thursday, right here, we're going to be taking a look at the Voltron 84 Classic Legendary Yellow Lion. And then the following Thursday, we're going to be taking a look at the Voltron 84 Classic Legendary Voltron fully assembled and comparing him to the Voltron Legendary Defender Legendary Voltron fully assembled. So make sure you tune in here every Thursday for new toy reviews. Right here on Comageddon TV, I'm Shannon for Comageddon. Take care. This is the story of the super force of space explorers. Specially trained and sent by the Alliance to bring back Voltron, Defender of the Universe. Voltron, Defender of the Universe.